What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Garage. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you've managed to catch the previous uploads so far this week, you're probably going to start noticing a bit of a trend, and that is we're going to be phasing out the existing series and replacing all of them with just one starting next Monday. I don't want to say specifically what that new series is, but I will say it's an old series that we're just going to sort of bring back and try to breathe new life into, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Hopefully some of you are as well. But today in my garage, there's actually been a few new updates, starting off over here with a brand spanking new, fully remodeled gas station. We've got some new signage up here, some new banners. Looks like, judging by the condition of this one, there's only one pump. I don't remember if there was one working pump before or if they were both working or what the deal is there and then over here you'll notice we now have motorcycle parking area so there has been a new motorcycle that has been added to the game i know we kind of spoiled it in the previous episode i believe we stumbled upon the engine for that motorcycle so what i would hopefully like to do today after looking at this stuff is uh is purchasing one of those i think that would be really sick you know we've worked on um, vehicles on cars this whole time it would be really cool to just work on something a little bit different so apart from like the whole remodel of the gas station i don't think anything else has necessarily changed here if you want to be happy for a day drink if you want to be happy for a year marry if you want to be happy for a lifetime ride a dan rimmer who is dan and why are we no, I'm not even, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I don't know how that reminded me, but in the previous episode, we did actually take on a job for Mr. Cow over here, and uh, it was just a simple rust repair and a repaint. So now that that's done, I did that off camera. We are actually going to get a little bit of money for that. 1500 bucks, which is actually pretty sweet. So that puts us up to $1,800. Let's hop in the now turbocharged. Well, it was turbocharged before, um, but now it actually has engine oil and coolant. Wait a minute, didn't the water pump? I'm just now remembering all the things that happened in the previous episode. Didn't the water pump have some sort of failure? I guess it doesn't really matter because we are going to be working on something else today. Yeah, the water pump seemed to have had some type of catastrophic failure for reasons unknown to me. Maybe we didn't add enough coolant. I have no idea. But we should be able to at least drive it over to the used car lot. Because I think that's the only place that we can actually pick up the L500. Which is that um, that new motorcycle. Dude, the wiki is also not up to date whatsoever with this game. It's like maybe even a month behind the actual like game itself. So I couldn't find any information on this new motorcycle. Apart from the fact that it exists. But that's it. So let's try to enter the used car, now used car and motorcycle dealership, and we'll see if we get lucky on the first T here. It's it's never that easy though. Yeah, go figure. Okay, we've got an NIV in here, two coupes, two lad coupes, one convertible, one non-convertible. Let's try that again. Hopefully we get lucky the second time around. So back to the series phase out conversation. I really didn't even finish my thoughts on that. Oh, and we're not gonna get lucky the second time around. Dang it. Anywho, um, this series will be more or less put on the back burner where other series are getting phased out entirely. Let's try that again. Third time's a charm. To me, this series is still in its infancy. I feel like we just started playing it and third time is not the charm. Great. So that's why it's not being phased out completely. I definitely still want to be able to, you know, pick this up at a later date. So let's see if the fourth time around is going to give us the motorcycle that we're looking for. Many, many minutes later. I don't even know what attempt number we're on now. I sort of stopped keeping track after about 15. Baby, I think we've done it. Hey, okay. We have $1,800. What are the odds we actually have enough to purchase this thing? It's $1,700, you guys. The L500. Still says car, even though it's obviously a motorcycle, but we won't uh, pay much attention to that. Original color, there isn't one, but its current color is kind of like a lighter blue, I guess. 500cc engine, obviously. Five-speed gearbox. Differential, not applicable. 
for something like this. It's very clean, has minimal rust. Looks like, judging by this exhaust, that'll probably be just about the only thing that needs to be replaced. Yeah, a little bit of rust here on that back fender. Dude, this thing is sick. It's like a cafe racer. Kind of what it reminds me of. It looks really nice. Alrighty, well, let's just go ahead and purchase the thing. We're going to blow all of our money on it, but um, I'm not too worried about that. Now that we're able to look at this thing in the sunlight, I'm noticing quite a bit more rust than I did when we were inside the shed there. We've also got just like the top portion of the cylinder, because it's, you know, just a single cylinder engine. That appears to be kind of dusted. The exhaust, we noticed that inside. And then I think this is just like a motor plate, just like a cover plate. That looks like it needs replaced. This tiny plate on that side is absolutely scorched. That'll definitely have to get fixed up. Well, let's hit the Kickstarter and we'll see if she at least turns over. That would be nice. Right away, it has a nasty... I just gotta walk away from that thing, dude. That is loud. It has a nasty exhaust leak. But again, we kind of knew that going into it. Okay, press enter to sit. There we go. Now we can put the kickstand up. And I think we'll just be good to... It is loud. It is loud. Cover your ears, ladies and gents. I'm just gonna try to... Wait, what is that case over there? Have we seen that before? Oh, yeah, you can, like, store tools and whatnot in that. I think we've noticed that in a previous video. Um, I'm just gonna try to put it back to the garage, and then we can start flipping through the catalog. So, all cars. The L500 has now been added. So, when we previously saw it under engines, the 500cc existed, but the L500 up top did not. So, oh, wow. Oh, wow, there's actually quite a bit to this. I was not thinking it was going to be that in-depth, but I like it. Dude, the exhaust alone is $126. Almost $127. And we only have $74 to our name at the moment. So we're going to have to take on a few customer jobs, try to get a little bit more money in our back pocket. Can you change all worn suspension parts? Probably. I'm kind of hoping for a no-show on this one. We'll see how much money we can actually get. $1,600. That's fine. That is fine, dude. And it's a sick car, too. Is this the Chad or the Bart? I think this is the Chad, right? Look at that, dude. The Chad is really sick. Someday, someday we will purchase a Chad or a Bart. And we'll, you know, swap that V8 into that thing. I guess we wouldn't have to swap it because it already has a V8. So, assuming we buy one with a bum engine, we've already got one sitting in storage. So... No worries there. But, of course, we're going to be doing some suspension stuff on the old girl here. Where's the ignition on this thing again? Oh, yeah. It's like on the, the steering column. So, let's get this thing hoisted up into the air. Now we can start going around and inspecting everything that needs to be pulled off and or replaced on this vehicle. I'm already noticing this lower suspension arm there. Uh, we've got the upper A arm over here. Maybe shock absorber as well. And then steering knuckle. Anything else on this side? It's quite a bit. It is definitely quite a bit of stuff. Let's see if we have anything going on at the rear of the vehicle. It doesn't look like it. Right out the gate, I'm not... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one shock absorber. Okay, so we've got one shock absorber in the rear. Maybe that little linkage right there for the leaf springs? Kind of kind of looks a little corroded, if you ask me. But it, yeah, it's uh, it's quite the job, this one.
Well, we've managed to get everything unbolted now. We've got a small little parts pile up here of stuff that needs to be replaced. And then as for the rear, it looks like the leaf springs are in relatively good condition, I think. I don't know. This one probably shouldn't be bowing that way. I feel like it should be bowing the opposite direction. But it's very rusty up here. Both of them are, actually. So I'm assuming we're going to have to replace the both of them in the rear. But... This um, is kind of something I overlooked, all right? We only have $74. Most, if not all, of these parts combined is probably going to be well over $74. So we're unfortunately going to have to take on another customer vehicle. Oh, no, we can't do that. Oh, no, I thought we could take on multiple cars at once. A few moments later. I decided that the best thing for us to do is probably just load up the cardboard box, bring all the parts down here to the store, and then we can start, you know, trying to purchase all of them. So, first, we have just a tie rod for the Chad and or Bart. That'll be $19, so that puts us up to, or down, I should say, to $55. Let's see, we're going to get a dollar back for the old one, if it actually takes the thing. No, take, take my broken part and give me money. Oh my, this thing, I tell you what, it almost never works, dude. I, I don't understand. All it says is drop to sell. It should be pretty easy. Maybe it's so cheap that it doesn't even want to give me my dollar. Whatever, dude, we'll just leave it there. Okay, so we've got a brand spanking new tie rod. We'll put that in our cardboard box. And then a hub F, that's going to be the next thing. How is that more expensive than a tie rod? It's considerably smaller. $35. We only have $20 now remaining. That'll go back in the cardboard box. And the old one, we'll see if we can get anything for this. $2 even? No, you're you're just not gonna you're not gonna accept it again. Okay, well, nothing else on this counter is gonna be 20 bucks. I really didn't want it to come to this, but we do have a lot of spare parts here at the garage that we're not necessarily going to ever need again. So let's just start only a dollar for that. Pathetic. We're just going to start ditching stuff and trying to make money any way that we can. $37 is all we've managed to uh, come up with. That puts us up to 85. The block was good. The block was very good. And then we have the performance carb, something we can't use with the turbo kit. $25. All right. So we're up to $135. Is there anything else in here that we could do without? I would really love to keep the V8 because we know it's good. We went through the whole thing, built it from the ground up. I think we kind of need to hang on to the exhaust for that V8 as well. Let's, uh, let's head back to the store. I just walked here. So let's walk back. Oh, no. <laughs> let's walk back to the store. And uh, we'll see if we can get much of anything else with 135 bucks. One minute, 37 seconds later. I can't believe it's come to this, you guys. But this dumpster at the garage also will not accept our very, very broken parts. So unfortunately, what we're going to have to do now, since we can't accept any more customer vehicles, we're going to have to see how much money we could get for the V8. All right. I know. Kind of a heartbreaker. Only $60? That's not even going to get us that far. What if we were to include the gearbox with that? $44 for the gearbox and the starter. Now, obviously, the V8 engine costs much more than $60 for us to actually put together. We do still have the rest of the interior for the lad. That we don't necessarily need. I bet you this seat would just get us like 5 bucks or something like that. Let's see what we could get for the exhaust. That is $9. Okay, so if we completely liquidate all of our V8 stuff and also the remaining interior pieces we have for the lad, we may be able to finish this job. Maybe. Not 100% sure, but we're going to try it anyways. Starting with the V8. Now, this pains me just as much as it pains you guys to see. Ow! I have never... Never had anything be that loud just trying to throw something away. That was awful. Why does that happen? It it seems like it's only with certain items. There we are sitting at... Wait, what is that? 500? I'm sorry, what? The engine said it was only worth 60 bucks. 
Okay, well, I guess all we really needed to get rid of was the engine. I think we'll have plenty of money now. All of that, you guys, all of that suspension work, just so we'd actually have enough money to uh, tackle this here motorcycle. So let's see, did we actually complete the whole thing? I guess we haven't, we must have missed something. How fantastic, what great news. After doing a little bit more digging, I found that the rear axle was actually bad as well. You can see this is the original one we took out. It's pretty gross looking. After a very, very thorough bolt check on the vehicle, I wasn't able to find any loose bolts. So I guess we're just going to take an $84 hit for that. Not the end of the world. Still $1,600 for completing that job. And now we actually have the money that we need to then dump into this motorcycle. To get us going on this nice cafe racer, I think I want to address the mechanical issues before we take care of like the cosmetic stuff, like the handlebars. Not super important. I guess just two bolts and the whole exhaust just kind of falls off. See if we actually get some money for that. We sure do. We've got our brand spanking new exhaust. It's looking real, real nice, but it bolts up to the cylinder head. So I think what we need to do now is actually get this top cover just removed real quick like. There we be. Ooh, okay. I was kind of hoping that there wasn't going to be any internal damage. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm just looking at this a little funny. I can see the camshaft there. I can see the, the chain. So hopefully all of that stuff is in relatively good shape. I was just struggling trying to remove the spark plug wire for far too long. And I'm sure many of you were probably having issues with this as well. If you did end up tearing down your own. So all you have to do is hover over this portion of the spark plug wire and just hold left click and it'll pop right off. Really easy. I think the chain is the same thing as well. So hopefully if you guys were struggling, maybe that'll help you. We do still have a spark plug in there though. So let's rotate it back over just onto its side there if it'll sit up for us nice. This is the only downside of working on the motorcycle engine. We don't actually have a stand for it or anything of the sort. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's not terrible. Now I just need to find our spark plug sockets. The spark plug even looks like it's in good condition, so we should be able to save that for um, the next rebuild. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, buddy. Oh, is it another click and hold? No. The next thing we need to remove here is this rusty panel. I think this leads to the crank case, right? Oh no, that's the alternator, I believe. Hang on. Let's remove this. Yes, right behind there is the alternator. So something internally from this rod here is uh, is also broken. So let's remove that. And what is that just the crankshaft? It would have to be. Do we have anything else on this? Okay. 
this dude this motorcycle i tell you what this thing is difficult constantly wanting to tip over never really wanting to sit up straight it's bad honestly this might even call for just a complete why dude well i didn't even touch the thing i was close to it yeah but i definitely didn't cause it to uh to fall over like that so this is gonna need replaced the filter that was inside appears to be okay though but this, honestly, we should have just done a full teardown. This is one of those projects that I'm not really even sure we can put it back together. I haven't really been paying attention to where things have been coming from. And due to the fact that the motorcycle keeps tossing and turning as we try to work on it, it's kind of throwing things around and uh, it's a little bit um, disorganized at this point. But as you can tell, we've got a bunch of random cogs and, and gears and things that all need to be replaced. So... I'm going to take my time now, go through the catalog, try to find everything that we need. Finally, after purchasing all the necessary mechanical parts to get the cafe racer up and running again, we're sitting at $1,400 now. Again, not terrible, but this puzzle is going to be so challenging, you guys. Again, I honestly don't even really know where half this stuff came from. So I'm going to be putting a lot of square pegs in round holes, I think. It's going to be... A little uh a little weird here but maybe just maybe we'll be able to put this in there hey that did something that's cool let's go for the gearbox next i think that's probably got to go in the back of the crankcase there perfect and then the chain sprockets probably on the other side this is one of those things that just kind of fell out as we were taking it all apart if we tighten that is that going to work Seems to be working okay. Everything still kind of looks like it's in place anyways. All right, this is taking way too long. I'm just going to try to put on this additional crankcase piece here. There we be. I feel like we have so many extra parts still chilling out here that needed to go underneath that case we just put on, but it's cool. You know what? Let's just, let's just keep on trucking. That, I mean, went in there, so that's cool. Seems good, seems good. That also went in. Perfect. Let's get the largest gear installed now. And then I think this goes right on the outside of that. Bunch of bolts securing that down. Okay, I am nowhere near the kickstand. I don't know why it keeps getting kicked up. I'm not even, I'm not even touching the thing. I can say with 100% certainty though, this is the most annoying thing that I... That I have tried to work on in this game thus far. Just due to the fact that it keeps falling over. Again, nowhere near the kickstand, but apparently it's like hitbox is the entire engine. Because, yeah, things are, uh, things are happening. Anywho, let's get this and try to install that into there. Next, we have a brand spanking new cover. This was the one that was like super gross looking, super corroded. Just nasty overall. And then our Kickstarter, this guy here. Come on, buddy. That is going to go right here. Got a single bolt holding that on. And then what are you? Oh, you're our gear shift. Okay, so that's going to go... Our gear shifter, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go on the opposite side of the bike. We might as well just leave it on its side, but flip it over to the other side so we can at least get this thing on there. And then I think that about does it, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got quite a few more things that need to go on this side now, huh? That would be this guy. He's going to go right there. The alternator. Got two bolts. One on the top, one on the bottom. And then the alternator... What do they call this? Well, I can't see it now. The alternator uh, circle. Now we can get our chain cover on. That's going to go right here. I think just three bolts on that guy, if I remember correctly. Now this should be able to bolt up right here. Does it just slide into place? No, we actually have a bolt on the back. Okay, we're making a little bit better progress now, I will admit. And then this guy just needs sealed up. And that should be about it for the bottom end. Now we'll just have to, you know, work on the top side. I'm hoping that if we lean it up against this wall, it'll be less likely to fall over. We might as well extend the kickstand also, and then let's grab, or hang on. This is the way we're supposed to do this, right? Install by hand and then tighten with the wrench. Now we can grab our spark plug wire. That's gonna go right there. 
pops right into place. And the chain is going to go right there. Perfect. Oh, we've got to rotate this over. We're still missing uh, the whole camshaft. We're going to be reusing the original head gasket here because honestly, it seems like it's in relatively good shape. If it would just mount up. Thank you. This has been the most frustrating thing I've ever tried to assemble in this game by far. And now I'm not really sure how we would secure the head to the bottom end because the bolts were on the inside. Obviously, I can't tighten them from out here. So with the cylinder head cover taken off, it actually reveals some additional bolts after you, you know, get the cylinder head atop the bottom end. Now that we have that done, we can finally apply this, get these four bolts torqued to spec, of course, 2G spec, and then I think we're actually all together. Now we should be able to grab this exhaust get it hucked on here, and it'll just work. We've got it moved away from the wall now. We just need to check the oil, see how we're doing there. It still has engine oil, so I mean, that's cool. Fire on up. Look at that, dude, like a dream. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about the rust. I'm also not gonna worry about the handlebar repair that definitely still needs done. Why can't I sit on it, though? There we go. Okay, kickstand up. Let's, um... Can we back it up at all? No? I mean, obviously there's no reverse on a bike like this, but that's kind of an annoyance as well. This bike overall, I'm kind of noticing more of an annoyance than anything else, but that's cool. Maybe if the dev adds in like a separate stand or something just for you to work on the motorcycle, that would be nice. But we're here. Let's try to take it around. We'll see. If it's still gonna be super loud, that's not too bad. Still kinda loud. Dude, it handles really well. It actually handles really, really well. I love how it's snowing right now and we're on our motorcycle. Like, who does this? Check that out though. Does it have lights or anything? We've got something over here. That's ignition. And then, there we go, we've got some lights. Beautiful. No uh, no fuel gauge either. Maybe we should fill it up with some fuel. Don't get me wrong, you guys. This thing is absolutely the sickest thing in the game thus far. But it's also the most annoying thing in the game thus far, in my opinion. It was, uh, it was like pulling teeth, trying to get this thing fully assembled and ready to go. We're just gonna top it up with some gasoline here. And we'll be on our way once again. I just want to do like one more lap, I think. We are all gassed up and ready to go. I also like how there's no parking brake for this. That's kind of nice as well. Let's cut down this way. I'm half tempted to see what our top speed would be like on this bad girl. So let's head over here to the bridge. It's uh, like the longest known straightaway. And it is a five speed. Again, sorry, I know it's kind of loud, but we'll just have to deal with it. This is gonna be kilometers per hour. I think we're gonna top it out. I really do, check that out. 200, well over 200 kilometers per hour on this cafe racer. That is insane. And when you're hitting the brakes, it likes to pull to the right, I guess. That's good to know. Well, there you guys have it. We officially have a working cafe racer. We also still have the turbocharged four-door lad, of course. But I think that is going to be a wrap on my garage for a little while. I'm definitely eager to come back to this, especially after there will be updates again in the future. But for right now, I think that's where we're going to wind things down at. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.